Hi, Derek Seth. My name is Taylor Davis. I work for a company called Guardian Premier Solutions out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, what we are is we're a human performance optimization company. Uh, we work primarily with the military, but we've also worked with a multitude of different companies as well as individual athletes. Uh, basically, our main role is we assess, we study, we prepare, and we try to improve performance. We've been doing this for almost 10 years now, uh, and we've hit about 4,000 people overall across multiple different spectrums. This stunning man in the picture behind me, that's Doug Isaacs. He is our founder, CEO, and the man behind the plan. Uh, as you can see, it says PJ. He is a former active duty pararescue man and currently still serves in the reserves uh, within the same career field. One thing that we have tried to do over the last few years is figure out what is human performance. Uh, that is a term that is thrown out a lot, but there's never been a specific definition for the term. What we've come up with is the capacity, intensity, and range of various human body systems, their specific function, collective contribution, response to, and recovery from an action, activity, or environment. Very briefly, we've worked with the tactical side a lot lately. Uh, we've been able to assist different organizations within JSOC, AFSOC, the Marine Corps, AETC, the, uh, and as well as uh, the rescue squadrons. A little bit about myself. Over the past decade, I've spent a little bit of time playing some college football as well as being a college strength coach. Before I moved into the whole GPS role, back in June of this past year. I've been with BA Prep since day one. Some of y'all will hear a lot more about that when Josh Smith gets up here and talks. It's kind of his wheelhouse and his baby. I'm just uh, happy to be on the train and helping out where I can. So quick little brief about BA Prep. It's an eight week course that we get all non prior service airmen immediately following basic military training. And our role is to basically completely help them in total success for their next course of initial entry, so their selection course. Now this is where us at GPS kind of come into the frame. We're here for helping these guys with all sorts of different human performance aspects. So we work with different technologies and companies such as Zephyr, Fatigue Science, Omega Wave, and we use Smartabase as our main database to help figure everything out and get it in a right way so the coaches and the rest of the staff can help make training the best possible for these students. So kind of break down how I will go through a day in training. I'll show up, get to my computer, and I'll go to Smartabase and I'll immediately open up and this is our main dashboard. This is the first thing I'll see when I log on to our smarter base. Now what I'll do is I'll click on this tab called Candidate Hub, and I'm gonna get a screen that looks very similar to this. It's gonna have every picture, name, as well as a readiness color. That readiness color is gonna be driven by the Omega Wave reading. Every morning it gets auto-populated at around 6 a.m., depending upon uh, when the time change happens and little factors like that. But we're gonna see four colors. We're gonna see green, yellow, red, or gray. If we see gray, that means somebody didn't do an Omega Wave reading and we need to figure out why. If we see red, that means something is going on with the guy's system and we need to figure out what's going on. And we'll do more of a deep dive into their individual system and figure out what's going on. Green, we love green. That means they're ready to train. Yellow, maybe they just haven't figured out, their body hasn't figured out how to adjust from the previous day's training or maybe they didn't sleep right. Something is affecting it just slightly, but we're not too concerned because we still are ready to train them. So then I'll go back to our main hub. And as you can see, I have these front page reports. Now how Omega Wave has broken out training into four distinct categories. You have skill, speed and power, strength, and endurance. So these reports will give us these windows of trainability for each individual section. It's gonna give us a high, a medium, a low, and a not recommended. And that's gonna be broken out by different colors as well. So if I go, for example, and open up the strength tab, I'm gonna see 
a chart looks like this. It's going to have everybody's name and it's going to give me a corresponding color. Now we at GPS, we decided we need to help training recommendations. Based upon some info from Omega Wave as well as our own expertise in the area of training, we've come up with different recommendations that we've pushed to the coaching staff to help them guide training. So as you can see, high candy goes with the plan as is. Medium, we suggest they maybe increase the rest period. Maybe don't let them go over 90% of their intensity for a one rep max on a squat. If you're low, increase that rest period just a little bit more. Less sets, keep the intensity just a little bit lower. Not recommended, it's not a go or no go. It's more of a, hey, let's uh, pull it back, maybe do the same workout, just do it in a circuit fashion with a very low weight, get some blood flowing, maybe throw them on the rower for 10, 15 minutes, make them move, make them get a little blood flow, see if we can make them feel better so the next day they're ready to go for full training. I know that was probably a little quick, but I know we're short on time and I wanna make sure everybody else has plenty of time. So I hope uh, that was good info. If anybody has questions, I'm gonna be around for the next two days, so please feel free, feel free to come jump in and ask questions and I'll do what I can to answer them for you.